Blue noise refers to sample distributions that are random and uniform. It has been widely studied with many important applications. However, prior blue noise methods might not handle features well. We present bilateral blue noise sampling to address this issue. Our key idea is very simple. Instead of considering just spatial positions, as in prior methods, we consider both positions and features. This is analogous to bilateral filtering that also considers both positions and colors as features. By using different features, our idea can be applied to a variety of different applications. Image stippling is another important application for blue noise sampling. Here the goal is to use stipple samples to preserve image tones and features while having samples in blue noise distributions. However, this is a hard problem. Prior methods often have difficulty achieving all the goals simultaneously. For example, structure-aware stippling may sacrifice blue noise properties for structures. Our method can provide better quality. Notice the more uniform distributions of our results. Our method also performs better than prior adaptive sampling methods that do not explicitly consider features. Bilateral filtering has been applied to a variety of applications. However, it is slower than linear filtering. Due to its importance, various acceleration methods have been proposed. Among them, subsampling is a simple and effective method. However, previous methods use uniform sampling without considering the image content, and thus may miss features such as the music line. Our method, by considering pixel color as the feature, can provide more effective subsampling. We propose both local and global methods for our bilateral sampling. In the local method, samples are generated independently for each output pixel. In the global method, samples are generated together for the entire image. By taking features into consideration, our method can produce results with less noise in the local method and less bias in the global method. Here are more examples. Our method can also be applied for sampling dynamic domains. Here, we provide cross-domain sampling for placing 2D screen space samples corresponding to 3D objects. This cross-domain sampling is related to both geometry and image sampling. However, pure geometry sampling in a 3D space might not produce uniform 2D distributions. while pure image stippling in the 2D domain might produce shower door or other temporal artifacts. Our cross-sampling method places samples in the 2D domain while considering 3D geometry features, and thus preserves both 2D and 3D properties well. Our method can also be applied to stylizing videos and to preserving motion coherence, screen space uniformity, and features. Thank you for watching.